Hey everyone! So today I have a new tutorial for you. I am making a small little binder. And this is just some chipboard that I have laying around. And it was already cut down to two and a half. So you want two pieces that are two and a half by two and a half. Those are going to be the uh, back and front covers. And then you need a middle piece for the spine. That's going to be two and a half by an inch. I will leave the link down below where I got this original tutorial. So now you want to cut the paper. I'm using Summer Dreams by Echo Park. I got this from Peachy Planner Deals. It is an amazing, awesome website. They have so many different things that you can buy it's like different deals um, every day I seriously am like addicted to that site so you want to cut it from um, at seven and a half by four and then the inside piece to cover it up that's gonna be um, at three inches or two and a half by um by six and i will leave the measurements down below in the description box so now that the pieces are cut you are going to want your cover the side that you want to be shown goes down and then you put your chipboard on top i'm using double hot double-sided adhesive roll tape. It's um, an eighth of an inch from scrapbook.com. I got it as a free sampler pack. It is amazing. I'm definitely going to get more. So I'm going to put tape on here and be back. So now that I have adhesive on there, I am just um, pressing it down with my bone folder to help it stick better. And then I'm going to peel up each piece. So after you peel them off, you want to line it up as best as possible to where it's even um, paper on the outside. So now you're going to want to cut the corners off about an eighth of an inch away from the corners of the chipboard because this is going to be the part that you fold down. So now you just want to fold over the um, the long pieces and you can score more with your folder to help it stick better. And then the ends, 
is what you're gonna do the second. So again, you just want to put some adhesive down. You can use wet glue, um, other kind of sticky tape, bigger pieces of tape. It's up to you. So now that I have all the tape down, again, I'm just going over with my bone folder to help it stick better. And then I'm gonna peel them up. And again, you want to do the, um, the long side pieces first. Put it with your bone folder, help it stick better. You want to start from the middle and then work your way out. And then the end pieces, you're going to want to um, push those little corner pieces in to help it fold over better and look a little nicer. And then you just rub it again to help it stick. And this is what it looks like when I'm pushing it over. Just tucking them in and then folding it down. So that's what that um, cover looks like so far. And now you wanna put the inside piece in just to hide all the chipboard and make it look nice. So you wanna put the adhesive on again And you just want to peel it off so you can stick it down. So you just want to rub it down and get it to stick as best as you can and then you want to just kind of um, score it in the middle of the two chipboard pieces and there you have your cute little binder. It's so adorable and mini and like the possibilities for this are endless. So I'm going to set this aside and sew it in a minute and that's what it looks like when it's all sewed up. That is totally optional, up to you. I really, really like it. So now we're gonna make the band to go around it to close it, if you saw in the picture from the beginning. And I need one that's eight inches long, and I cut the paper differently. So I'm just using two pieces to make the eight inches, but 
um, it's just one inch by eight inches long so you just need that it just looks complicated because I'm just trying to line it up to get the eight inches that I need for it and I'm just gonna um, apply some adhesive to it to make it the eight inches like it's just one strip because I wanted that color because it's the inside of my notebook or mini binder And then I'm going to sew it down the middle, but first I'm going to make the little buckle piece that it's going to slide into. So that's going to be one inch. And then you're going to turn it to one and seven eighths of an inch. So I sewed those two pieces as you can see and now to make the buckle fit I'm just going to set it down on the strap and fold over the pieces and then add some adhesive and stick it down. And I'm rubbing it because um, it gets the glue off like if you happen to get some on there I just rub it and it comes off I get this um, sticky tape from Walmart it comes in a pack of four or six I believe for like four dollars it's super super good tape but that's why I was rubbing it because I accidentally went too far so you just want to kind of measure it and then for this one I'm using the adhesive tape the one eighth of an inch and I'm putting that on there and then I will stick it on to my binder. So now you want to make the little um, straps that hold the paper inside. So I'm just getting some colors that match. You can also use um, some elastic, like the stretchy kind, but I went with this normal string. I like the colors better. That's the stretchy one. I only have those bright colors and then like black, gray, and then the other ones are super thick. So I'm just measuring it around and I'm going to cut six.
So now that they're cut, I'm just going to wrap them around and tie them in knots. So that's where the paper slips in. So that's what it looks like when they're all tied. You can you can either put it on before the strap or after. I think next time I might put them on before the strap, but I kind of like the look of it. And then of course you can always cut the ends off. Um, I know some people like to leave the ends of like thread and stuff on. So honestly, it's just really up to you. Um, me, I cut them off. So now you want to cut the paper that goes inside. I'm just looking at some more papers that came with this collection and I'm going to pick out um, different patterns to cut. So those were the three papers that I chose and you're going to want to cut them down to um, two inches by four inches and then you fold them in half. So now that I got them all picked out, I'm just sliding them in and there you go. You can decorate it, you can add tassels and everything. I'm going to put out a video of me showing how I decorated this one. So stay tuned for that. Please subscribe. Any questions, please leave it down below. I hope you have a great day and are staying safe. Bye.